Dear my Malaysian brother, what are we looking for in this life? Happiness of course but the fact is that happiness is relative and very easy to change depending on situations and conditions that are strongly influenced by desire. Dear my Malaysian brother, if our desire is achieved for one thing then we are happy but after that it only lasts for a while it is impossible forever because the feeling of boredom will hit then after that we will move on to look for other pleasures whose driving force is desire. What do we want more to please something that is physically our body, for example we want to eat well, have a picnic, watch a movie in the cinema, have a lot of money so that we want to be appreciated and respected, all of this is physical pleasure, which is fragile, easily changes in one desire it is fulfilled then in another. One more desire that will have no end. On the other hand, if what we are facing turns against our wishes, then various negative feelings will easily appear, such as disappointment, sadness, anger and frustration and then multiply into stress and depression which will undermine our physical health. Dear my Malaysian brother, so what are we looking for in life in this world other than happiness that seems absurd and cannot be maintained consistently? What if what we are looking for is the serenity of life? Calmness is more real because it promises consistency and stability of the soul that is not easily euphoric by the temptations of materialistic pleasures. Calmness means not being easily affected by feelings of happiness or disappointment related to materialistic desires, but calmness is more spiritual in nature. Because only by going through a spiritual journey to Allah we can achieve peace of mind. The spiritual journey to Allah is full of ascents that are not easy but the more you climb, the easier it will be for Allah if the heart continues to be forged with sincerity, patience and gratitude. That is why Allah ordered with the term calm soul that deserves to go to heaven not with the title happy soul which is a temporary worldly correlation while the peace of heaven is eternal in the hereafter. If we go into a super expensive and luxurious restaurant where we are treated by wealthy people, of course we will be happy and not worry that we will not be able to pay for food so that we appear to be calm. If we are aware that we depend only on Allah, who is rich and mighty, we will achieve peace of mind not only in the afterlife but also in the world, which is actually a series of journeys to the hereafter because the quality of the hereafter is the cause of the journey in the world, so don't underestimate the world. But also don't get too absorbed in loving the world and then neglect Allah's orders because we will be belittled and forgotten by Allah in the hereafter and live full of suffering because this life is a logical choice at your own risk. That's the info from the Duniafana News Channel. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.